Hey guys, today I'm going to do a longer video on TQQ and SPY update, uh, also regarding my positions on TQQ and SQQQ. So yesterday I was talking about how we're still trading in this range support and resistance while we were we closed at the low of the day. And overnight, you guys saw that we had a bounce of 1% gap up. And we literally opened close to the resistance. So I'm going to go to the 15 minute time frame. As you can see right there, we opened right at the resistance area and bears just took over. So we had a straight down drop and we had a bounce. And when I was looking for the bounce, I was looking for a lower high and go higher. And we did not get that. We had a 15 minute downtrend confirm over here once the low of the day broke. And that's when I exited all my TQQ position that I have added um, with you guys at $21. And after that, when we bounce back up, if we go back up, I would likely add back my positions, but we rejected from that level again, and then we dropped. This is when I started scaling in my SQQ position this morning, when I told you guys to start scaling in at 34.5. And we just had a straight full bear control all day. You guys can see that we never got back Every time we bounce, we never got back to the prior area. So you can see we just bounce a little bit and then we reject, drop again, bounce a little bit, reject, drop again. And we're, we have dropped roughly, let me see, two and a half percent from the highs to the low, actually 2.8%. So that's a pretty significant drop um, where we are pretty oversold on the hourly time frame. So what I'll likely see tomorrow is um, it's a little bit of a bounce overnight and what I want to see if bears can remain their control overnight and start dropping again. So on the daily time frame, we see that uh, we had a equilibrium here, which is this area, and now we had a bear break. So right now we just confirmed a daily downtrend for the first time since all the way back to December. And essentially right now we want to uh, see bears have more follow through this, tomorrow and next week to get a weekly consolidation, which means uh, as you can see weekly chart, we did not have any consolidation yet. We pretty much went straight up, stair step and zero consolidation. So what we wanna see is next week breaking this week's low and the weekly consolidation will start. That will, what will determine if we continue our bull move is the amount of retracement we get from this weekly consolidation. If we retrace only like 30% of it or 50% and bounce, we would likely get um, more follow through from the bear, uh, bulls. And then, so right now we'll just go about a day and next week, Tuesday, there is going to be CPI data. So we will be looking at that as well and see how the reaction of the market is going to go. And I'm still holding on my SQQQ position, hoping for another uh, leg down. Roughly might take profit around this area where there is uh, more support. And uh, we'll go one day at a time.